Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our B release security updates rolling out for Windows 11 for December of 2024, which Microsoft started rolling out on the 10th, which was late yesterday in my region. And for Windows 11 23H2, for this month, the update is KB5048685. And once the update has been applied, because it will be a mandatory automatic update, the OS build for 23H2 is bumped up to 22631.4602. Now, just on a side note, um, just to give you a heads up, these are our last Windows 11 updates that are rolling out for this year because there are no optional bug fix series updates at the end of this month due to the holidays. And once again, the update uh, addresses security issues. And let's just focus on that before we have a look at some other little tweaks and adjustments. So for Windows 11 23H2, we get 44 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. That's exactly the same as Windows 10. None of those are critical, which is important. And that's one more than Windows 10. And all of those critical vulnerabilities, which is your highest ranked vulnerability, are all remote code execution vulnerabilities, which means if a system isn't patched, Access can be gained um, remotely over a network or the internet. And then we get 35 important um, vulnerabilities that have been patched. So 35 important, non-critical, 44 vulnerabilities in total that have been fixed. So this is an important security update. Now, the update will include improvements that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of November. Um, that's on the 21st, 22nd of November to be exact, depending on your region, which was KB5046732. So if you didn't install that update, those improvements and fixes and new features will be carried over into this update. Now, I did post a whole video on 5046732, which will be linked down below and in the end screen. So go check that out if you want a more in-depth overview as to the new features and bug fixes and so on. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. The update includes start menu jump lists improvements. Now, just as an example, if I have an app in my taskbar, I pin to my taskbar and I right click, here are the jump lists. Now, if you head to your pinned apps on your start menu, you should see the same. Now, I must just give you a heads up at the outset. I'm not seeing these because a lot of these new features are on a gradual controlled rollout according to Microsoft. So you may see some of these, you may not just keep that in mind. So it includes start menu jump list improvements. And then the system tray, if we just head over to our settings and we head to our time and language and we head to date and time, you should start seeing a new setting as part of show time and date in the system tray to show a shortened date and time, which I haven't received yet. So if you have that setting and you toggle it on, it's going to show a much cleaner date and time, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And then the notification bell icon, which is here to the right of the system tray, the notification bell icon might not show if you have set the toggle for do not disturb to on like I have. Okay, still haven't got that one either. And then if we head back to our settings, this time we head to Bluetooth and devices and we head to our mouse settings page. There's new mouse options in settings. To be more specific, there's a new enhanced pointer precision, which was previously only available as a legacy control panel feature that's now available in the settings. And then you've got scrolling direction. So you can um, change it to down motion scrolls down and down motion scrolls up. And this is also a very nice improvement and I've posted a whole video on that setting. So a couple of improvements for mouse options. And then the task manager gets a couple of user interface uh, improvements. Go check that video out for more info. You can also share content to an Android device from the context menu. I still haven't received this, but just a quick recap. So if you head to a file in your file explorer and you right click, there should be an option here. Um, to share with an Android device. Obviously, if you are already set up with the phone link, the phone link and and all that on your phone and on your actual Windows device. I'm still not seeing that, so that's still on a controlled rollout. 
And then what else did we get? Um, there's dynamic lighting settings page improvements. Uh, that you can go check out in that video. I did cover that a little bit more in depth. There's also accessibility improvements. And if you hold shift and control and click a jump list item, this should open the item as an admin. Now, I'm still not seeing that. But nonetheless, go check that out. Use shift and control and that um, and then click on a jump list item that opens the item as admin. And then we also got a couple of bug fixes, eight in total that were more under the hood, behind the scenes fixes going on. So guys, that's it. Just a quick overview. Go check that video out for that previous update. But that's give or take what's new for Windows 11 23H2 with this last update for 2024, KB5048685. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.